Okay, here we are with step 20 on our barrel and screw change out. We have the new barrel is installed. It is now tight up against the injection casting. Then what we also had done, we've installed the we installed the pin for the carriage cylinder or the pullback cylinder so that everything up here is good and tight. Then we've also gone through and we've reinstalled the barrel nut so that now we can we'll just start running that in, torque it down, and then we'll uh, we'll just continue on with the assembly. Most of this right now, the reassembly is just the same as the disassembly, only in reverse. All right, here we are with step 21 of our barrel and screw change on our MA 1600 ton machine. So as you can see here, we have all the heater bands put back on the machine. Uh, the water jacket, the water lines for the water jacket are installed. Now one thing I want to, uh, a couple things here to highlight is when you put your bands back on, you want to make sure you have them orientated correctly or you'll have a very difficult time trying to put the barrel cover back on. The next thing you want to watch out for is to make sure that you have the items that go in the barrel. These are the spacers for the barrel cover and then you have your thermocouple wells on the other side of the machine. You want to make sure that you have those installed so you get the correct orientation of your bands uh, so you don't have them over top of one of the holes. So now uh, what we're going to do is the, the barrel end cap is on. You want to make sure you put NICs on the, the bolts. Then the next step will be to put the thread the nozzle in with NICs on the threads. Then we're going to heat the barrel up so we can move the screw around and couple it into the drive shaft. And then uh, we're almost done with this. We still have to torque the, the front of the nozzle adapter bolts. I'll show you where to find that in the manual and things. Um, and then we're just going to continue on. Okay, here we are with step 22 of our barrel and screw change on the MA-1600. Sorry, uh, The barrel is hot, so now what we're going to do is we're going to couple the end of the screw into our drive shaft. As you can see, I already have the end of the screw with anti-seize on it. So you can just grab it, push it in, line up the splines, and just slide it in. The next step is to install our split collars for the barrel. Just like that, we'll have to tighten down two screws, and then, uh, then th this end of it will be done. We can go ahead and start putting on the covers. Okay, here we are with step 23 of our barrel and screw change on the MA-1600, and it does have a 600 injection unit. We've torqued down the split collars inside, inside the cover here. We've got all of our covers on, the top cover, the back cover. We put our slides back on for a pinch point carrier here on top. You can see here the bolts are back in, so this is all back in. Now we're ready to come up here and torque the nozzle end cap bolts. This one happens to be a 14 millimeter Allen wrench. Section four of your book does tell you what the torque specs and things are, but we highly recommend that you go to the uh, internet, do a Google search on metric torque specifications for a grade 12 lubricated bolt. Because this is done in uh, metric Newton meters. Just do a search for foot pounds and you'll come up with the correct foot pounds. We're gonna continue on now, we'll have things torqued. Next thing will be after we torque it, we'll get the barrel cover on and go from there. All right, here we are with step 24 and final. We're changing our barrel and screw on an MA-16000. We have special thanks for my cameraman, Randy Wendling, for doing all this. Uh, I'm Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you see we've got all the guards and things on. Our barrel cover is back on. Purge tray is, or purge cover is back on. And we're ready to go. One thing you may want to note is that before you put your uh, barrel cover on is to please uh, check your heater bands make sure they all work before you put the cover on that way you don't have to take it all off again uh, but as you can see uh, wasn't too hard of a job and good luck with your endeavors